Joanne Sweet and Savvy Creations. Today or tonight, I'm going to do for you red velvet thumbprint cookies. Yes. <clears throat> I couldn't decide if I was going to do red velvet cake, which I always do. So I said, I'm going to do some thumbprint cookies. I haven't did them in a long time. Normally, I will fill them with some kind of jelly or something like that raspberry or grape jelly so i said i'm going to do some red velvet in recognition of valentine's day being tomorrow happy valentine's day to everyone that celebrates it um don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel i have been busy 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 today so we're going to get into these uh, uh ingredients real quick um uh, the recipe will be in the description box. So here we have uh, Premier White uh, Morsels. This is for my white chocolate. And this is for my chocolate. <laughs> then we have, we have some uh, rare food dye. I'm just going to show you the box. Rare food dye. We have some salt. Um, I used a little Crisco to spray my pan. Now, you can use parchment paper. I'll get my other spatula out. You use parchment paper if you would like. I didn't get any, so I have to do what I got to do, y'all. Two sticks of butter, which equals one cup. One cup of sugar. Two cups of of flour and a half i gotta put a half in there uh three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa y'all one egg and that's it and then of course the red food dye which i have right here we have i think three tablespoons or teaspoons of that so let's get into this recipe y'all so first you want to make sure your butter is room temperature, which mine is really room temperature. Let me get me a spatula, y'all. And because that way your cookies or cake or whatever you are doing will come out just right. So you want to make sure you have room temperature butter. And two sticks makes one cup. So, I hope everyone had a wonderful day today. Mine's went okay. I didn't let nobody get on my nerves. Now we're going to add in the cup of sugar. Actually, I need a little bit more because this is actually not a full cup. So I'm going to add in a little more. So in the recipe, it says one cup of sugar. I don't want to lie to you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to cream this together, the butter and the sugar. And we're just going to make sure that it's all well. vanilla extract pure vanilla extract y'all make sure it's pure vanilla extract so we're going to add one teaspoon in just one so when you buy the pure you really don't have to use that much where are my towels at oh i forgot i gotta wash them because i'm looking for my hand towels <laughs> So we're going to add in one egg, one egg. And I know they say 
and I'm gonna flip it that way, that way it won't get in the big shells. Let me get it in. Let me get this one. to add in our flour, our cocoa, our salt. Let me get my salt over here. And then we're going to stir in the uh, red food dye. So that's two cups. Um, here's my cocoa. I thought I didn't have no cocoa, y'all, and I already had some up there. So I got double cocoa. So it's three tablespoons of cocoa because you really don't know that this is actually like chocolate cake first and then the red food dye makes it red velvet. See, I taught y'all something today if y'all didn't know. So we're gonna put that to the side. I'm still getting my kitchen together, y'all. I'm about to get rid of this. Matter of fact, probably this weekend, I'm gonna get rid of that red strainer and get me one to go in the sink move this microwave over oh yeah it's about to be a different kitchen i need some more counter space and i was also thinking about getting me a roll away cart especially when i'm doing my videos and everything so i'm getting off sub yet i just want to tell y'all a little bit of that okay and we're going to use one fourth of salt whoa it made a pour that much. It just came out, y'all. It did its own thing. Okay, so I got my flour in. I got my cocoa. I'm going to give this a mix. Excuse me. And then we're going to stir in our uh, red food dough. You turn up a little bit if you want to get messy. Oh, I can't wait to get that mixing girl. You know what time I'm talking about. So we're just going to keep combining this. When I come back, I'm going to add. Okay, I am back. So I'm about to add in my uh, red food dye. Recipe calls for four tablespoons of it, which is probably the whole bottle, really. Oh, yep, the whole bottle. I don't know why you just didn't say the whole bottle. Y'all trying to be difficult. All right, so I'm gonna throw this in the garbage. I should have had some gloves on because my hands about to get messy. So we're just going to stir this in, make sure it gets nice and red. Yes, I should have had me some gloves, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. And it's supposed to be thick like this because it's cookie dough, y'all. So don't get alarmed like, oh, what's wrong? No, now if it was cake, then we have an issue. But since it's cookie dough, it's supposed to be like this. So we just want to try to, I don't think I'm going to use my spoon and not this spatula to get this all mixed in correctly. Okay. We're just getting on my hands already. Okay, I'm just going to keep stirring this in, making sure we get it all combined well. I still see some cocoa in there. So I will be back once this is. All right, y'all, time to get dirty. My hands gonna be looking red tomorrow. So you just wanna take um, like that much dough, roll it like so, like that. I'm gonna move and I'm gonna show you. You, you push it down like that, put it on the, the cookie sheet, and you take your, your thumb and just go down the middle like that. 
So I'm gonna show you a close up how it's supposed to look. Just like that. You don't wanna go too deep in because you don't wanna go through the cookie. And you just keep rolling. Oh, my hand's not getting too bad, y'all. Make sure you give your your uh, cookies enough room to bake. Let me turn my oven on. I'm gonna bake some cookies. And my oven ain't on. So you would bake these at um, 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. I need a little more on that one. 10 to 12 minutes. And then um, once the the cookie come out of the oven, soon as it come out of the oven, you will add your white morsels and your chocolate rice. You know why I almost put this down? I'm so used to putting the, uh, patting the cookies down, I almost patted that one down. So it's a simple recipe and it's perfect for uh, if you're having an office party at work or just a, a party period, you know. So I'm taking these in and some cheese steak egg rolls. So honey, they gonna, they gonna love me tomorrow at work. So I'm just keeping the family going. I don't know how many cookies this will make. I'm thinking maybe 20, probably 20 to 30 cookies probably. I'm thinking. You know, I'm just giving a, don't quote me, but I'm thinking about 20, probably 20 to 30 cookies. Okay. Like I said, we're going to bake these at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. So I will be back once these come out of the oven and I will show you the last and final step. All right now. Okay, I am back. So as you notice, my cookies are out of the oven. I'm about to put in my white chocolate morsels in some of them, morsels. <laughs> And you want to make sure you put them in right when they come out the oven. We're gonna put one on so they can melt in, like in that little hole there. So I'm gonna do some ch chocolate, and I'm gonna do some white chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna do some of the chocolate now. And I'm going to finish making my cookies because I got quite a bit to make. <laughs> but I'm just going to put the chocolate in there. Don't need that many. And it will just, you know, let it sit and cool. And I'm dropping them all over the place. I'm trying to hurry up and get them in here so they can melt. Okay. And then... I'm just gonna go in, y'all. Uh, with my hands. My hands are clean, y'all. So I just want to put those in like that. Who don't like to eat these by themselves? I do. Well, then we're gonna do some more white. See if these next ones I can make um, the thumbprint a little bit deeper. A little bit more deeper. Like this one. This one is pretty deep. This one right here. Okay, so I'm going to give you a close-up of these. This is my red velvet thumbprint. White morsels and chocolate. That one's going on to get in the way. Give you a little close up of them. And that's how they look. And then you just uh, put them on a platter or something like that, let them cool, and they'll be fine. So 
So if you want to see more recipes like this, please subscribe to my channel. Please share this uh, this uh, recipe. Um, your children can do it. You know, it's an easy recipe. Again, from Joanne Sweet and Savory Creations. Bye-bye.